this video lesson, we will talk about the basics of genetics. Most of us keep a family photo album. But nowadays, we have the so-called digital photo album wherein we upload or share our photos on our social media accounts such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And perhaps, many of us have heard people make comments about our resemblance to our relatives. Questions or statements such as, She has her father's eyes. Doesn't she look just like mommy when mommy was little? You got your dimples from your mommy, didn't you? Sometimes, though, we hear people wonder why we look different from one another. How come she has straight hair when both her parents have curly hair? He has perfect vision. Lucky for him, he did not take after his nearsighted parents. For years and years, people believed that relatives shared blood, hence the use of idiomatic expressions like blood relatives or blood is thicker than water. Because of the work of geneticists, we now know that the traits we exhibit are due not to blood but to genes and chromosomes that are passed on to us by our parents. In this video lesson, we will talk about the four types of hereditary characters. Hereditary characters are characters that are controlled by genes. Genes is the basic physical and functional unit of heredity. Genes are factors of heredity. It is made up of DNA. Genes are transmitted from one generation to the next. You must clearly understand that it is the gene, not the character, that is passed on from parents to offspring. For instance, you did not inherit dark skin color from your parents. What you inherited from them are the genes that control the expression of dark skin color. Hereditary characters may be classified into the following A. Morphological B. Physiological C. Behavioral and D. Sexual Let's start with the morphological character. When we say morphological character, these are those that refer to structure of form such as shape, length, or color of body parts. Examples or the picture that is flash on the screen. First is you have different colors of hairs and the shape of the face. Also, we have here the type of hair aside from color we have straight hair wavy and curly hair on the next example we have here the hitch hiker's thumb and the straight thumb while the last example we have here the straight hairline and the widow's pick Another example of morphological character is the fur color in cats. We know that cats have different colors ranging from red, 
orange color in cats is called red in cat breeding while the color gray is called blue another example is the shape of your little finger we have bent little finger and straight little finger when we talked about morphological characters it has something to do with the shape, the length, or the color of the body parts. Next is physiological character. Physiological character are those that refer to the functions of parts such as rolling of the tongue, blood clotting, or color vision let's start with this example when we say color vision it is an ability of animals to perceive differences between light composed of different wavelengths here is an example we know that the most common color of apples it can be red or green the red and the green apple is what someone sees with a normal color vision while these two pictures of apples is what someone with red green color blindness see so as you can see there is a difference if you have normal vision you can identify the red and the green colors of apples while if you have this red green color blindness then this is the color of the red and the green apples as what is seen by a color blind person you see a person suffering from a red green color blindness will have a problem or difficulty when he is driving because um, in driving we have to look for or we have to look to the traffic lights and traffic lights are made up of colors I mean red green and yellow Another example is tongue rolling or rolling of the tongue. Not all individuals can do this type of tongue rolling. I know that while I am discussing this, you're, you will try to um, do as what is flashed <laughs> on the screen. Don't worry because if you can do this, it is also normal because there are individuals who can roll their tongue and there are individuals who can't roll their tongue another thing is there are individuals who can make their ears move while there are other individuals who can do that so that is an example of physiological character Another type of uh, or example of physiological character is lactose intolerance or the inability of an individual to digest milk. A person with lactose intolerance or a person who is a lactose intolerant will have a loose bowel movement after drinking milk another example is diabetes mellitus it is a condition wherein our body will have an increase or high sugar level next is behavioral character behavioral character 
are externally directed activities in response to stimuli. So when we say stimuli, these are any change in the environment that enables an organism to respond. Let's say for example, if you touch a shy plant, in the Philippines we call it makahiya plant, when you touch it or the leaves of the shy plant, the leaves will close. In that case, the touch is the stimuli and the closing of the leaves is the response. Instinct such as crying and thumb sucking in babies are hereditary behavioral characters. So we know that babies usually thumb suck when they are hungry, they cry when they are hungry, and they also cry when they are uncomfortable because that is their means of communication. Another example of behavioral character is bird migration. We know that birds from our neighboring countries that usually migrate here in the Philippines because of uh, the very cold weather. Another example is the spinning of spider's web, which is a type of behavioral character. Also, during fall or autumn season in other countries, such as Korea and Japan, leaves fall in response to the coming of the cold weather on winter season. Next is sexual characters. Sexual characters are those associated with being male or female, such as internal and external genitalia, hair growth at puberty, change in voice quality of males, because males usually have uh, a deep voice, or fat deposition in the breasts and hips of females. We know that females have wide hips, while males have broad shoulders. Also, one of the most prominent appearance when it comes to secondary sex characteristics in male is the enlarged Adam's apple. Sexual characters usually pertains to the secondary sex characteristics in male and in female. Some characters are acquired. A nose lift can change the shape of your nose. Dyes can change the color of your hair. Sunbathing can give your skin a tan. These acquired characters, however, result from environmental factors and are not passed on to the next generation. Hereditary characters not acquired characters are the main focus of this discussion. Check out your hairline, fingers, and chin. Brush back your hair. Is your hairline straight or do you have a widow's peak? Look at your fingers. Which finger is longer, ring or pointer finger? Are your little fingers straight or bent? Do you have cleft or straight chin? Compare traits with those of your mother and father. With whom do you share the traits you exhibit? From which parent did you likely inherit the genes that allowed you to express each of these traits?